Hello everybody, welcome to Huntington. I have a couple of patients in OC today and the weather called for clouds, but as you can see, the sun popped its head out. So Bruno and I are heading down, going to one of our favorite spots, the Huntington Dog Beach. So, you know, we're a few months, three months in now to 2019. And I just want to remind you guys to keep living your best life even if you've fallen off that uh, New Year's resolution train, you know, a lot of studies show that people fall off within the first five days and almost everybody falls off by Valentine's Day. So don't worry, brush it off, get back on that horse and keep going and uh, stay creative. So there's a lot of different ways to be creative when it comes to self-love and uh, inspiring neuroplasticity, trying to change the way we perceive the world and change the way we look at old habits and old memories, old traumas, old accidents. And not necessarily try to remove those things, but take a different perspective. Take a new pathway on an old issue and uh, kind of become grateful for the growth that you've went through since that. So, you know, trying to stay on top of myself as far as different ways that I can uh, be uh, self-loving and kind of step out of myself and keep on learning so you know meditation has been a great thing and I want to do like a five-day challenge maybe let's do a 21 day challenge where we kind of take just 10 minutes out of our day to do some breath work and meditation and a lot of people you know they think that meditation might be about you know clearing all your thoughts and not thinking about anything which is really hard because a lot of studies show that about 47% of our time that we spend in our life is actually in deep thought, trying to find happiness, trying to find ways to happiness. And the only real way to be truly happy and truly grateful and content is to be in the moment, enjoying yourself and appreciating what's around you. And so using that meditation, taking 10 minutes out of the day to take some deep breaths, do some different variations of some breath work. I went through a great breath work class the other night with my friend Felipe. So I'll put the link in. It's already on my newsfeed, but I'll put the link for that breath work class. You guys can check that out. He's in Orange County and uh, also in LA. But you know, the meditation is great because it, it doesn't allow you to kind of step out of your thinking. It allows you to step back. Take a step back, take a new perspective, take some deep breath and uh, take a new look. Hi, how's it going? And using the meditation, using that time, using that breath work, we kind of can not eliminate old thoughts or eliminate emotions, that's impossible, but more channel those things and kind of observe them for what they are and appreciate what they are and understand where they're coming from and why, why they happen, why I am, and not necessarily just accepting who I am. And by understanding you know, the why, by seeing that, by observing, we can slow down our reaction on the next time and cause a new reaction, which alters the way our life goes. It's a chain reaction that allows for growth and everything else in between. Hi. And so taking time throughout the day to take 10 minutes to do some meditation, get some yoga in, Get some sunlight, some vitamin D. I mean, vitamin D has been shown in tons of research to boost dopamine, to boost your immune system, to boost mitochondrial activity. So our body's ability to create energy. And this is amazing stuff. So we're just biohacking what's around us. This is a form of physics, using breath work, using music, using motion and movement to liberate the body's innate healing capacity and that's you know the body and the mind have a tandem relationship with each other so if we can work on one we can work on the other so seeing the overlap taking time to do that getting outside not being afraid of rejection a lot of people never start stuff because they're afraid to re get rejected and i know how that goes you know i used to play collegiate and you know semi-pro baseball and uh, you know, being a pitcher, you know, you face a lot of rejection. You know, you're the one with the ball in your hand. So if you know, if you're not playing well, you're just kind of out on that mound. It can be a really lonely feeling. 
And so being able to accept that and see where your mistakes were and see where you can be a little bit better, just reflect on that. You can carry that into tomorrow and keep building it, okay? And there's satisfaction in that. Get the ball. There's satisfaction in that feeling. So I hope you guys can take a little bit from this video and uh, enjoy your Thursday. You got a great weekend coming up. Uh, be looking out. I'm gonna be looking or uh, performing some chiropractic with uh, some really cool music this weekend um, at a couple of different events. So I'm really excited about that. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for now. We're gonna go enjoy the beach. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love to you. And uh, sending love and light around as you guys flow and move through your day with grace and uh, grow stronger. Grow stronger, keep moving. Keep moving forward. I got your back. You guys schedule your adjustment. You know, it's not just a physical adjustment, it's a mental adjustment. It doesn't mean that you're good forever. It means that you're good for, you know, that time. It's kind of like an upgrade. You know, what would your cell phone, what would your computer be if you never upgraded it? You never upgraded the software. So, we gotta upgrade the software. Sometimes we gotta go and help and fix the old hardware and make sure they're all synced up. And that's what we're doing with this type of stuff. So keep your body, keep your mind filtered and synchronized and uh, keep more moving forward. Much love to you guys. Have a great day.